Thank you guys for coming. Uh, welcome, and uh, thanks for coming uh, to honor this uh, Green Bay Packer great. Um, certainly one of the premier offensive linemen of his generation, um, one of the, the better um, offensive guards to ever lace him up here in Lambeau Field. So, uh, you know, Josh played eight seasons here from 2008 to 2015. He started 112 regular season games and 13 postseason games. From 2009 to 2015, he started the most games by a Packer offensive lineman. His durability and consistency was rare combination. Sitton was named the Pro Bowl four times, 2012, 2014, 2015, and 2016. He was also selected All-Pro by the Associated Press three times from 2013 to 2015. He was a Green Bay guard. He was the first Green Bay guard named to the Pro Bowl in back-to-back seasons since Marco Rivera. He was a key member of teams that won a Super Bowl and four division titles. Finished with 10 plus wins six times and made the playoffs seven times. Sitting block for offenses that ranked in the top 10 points and points seven times and the top 10 in yards six times. Josh was selected by the Packers in the fourth round of the 2008 draft, 135th overall. Um, let me just tell a little bit of a little, little story about Josh. He was uh, one of the better offensive linemen I've ever scouted. I get a little emotional about this because this is really one of the players that put me on the map. Um, really fought for Josh in the draft room, and Ted Thompson and James Campen were uh, equally as, as impressed. And uh, I think when he came in here, it was about the uh, third rep of his Packer career that we knew we had a good one. He was going to be a good one for a long time. Um, came out of the University of Central, Central Florida. And uh, it was an interesting story as I scouted Josh because he had played right tackle most of the year. And uh, I liked him, but I wasn't quite sure how he was going to fit with us. Came back later in the season, late November, and he had moved him to, to right guard. And that's where he really saw his power, his contact balance, his ability to, uh, to move, move people. Um, all the things you have that it takes to be a great NFL offensive lineman. Um, his confidence and aggressiveness, I think, bled into our team uh, and inspired our team over the years. I want to take this time to thank Josh, his wife Kristen, and their family for all the contributions to our community, to the organization, and to our Super Bowl championship team. And at this time, let's give this to Josh. Josh Sitton. He pretty much took everything I was going to say, so that's all I got for you guys. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> so when I was five years old and I was in kindergarten, I brought home a, a picture um, and I, I wrote down what I wanted to do with my life. I said I wanted to play. Actually, I have a picture of it my mom sent me earlier. Um, I said I wanted to play soccer because I was really good at it, baseball because it was fun, and I wanted to play football for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, and I'm glad that didn't happen. Um, I couldn't be more honored um, to have been drafted by the Packers. Um, I remember growing up watching football with my grandfather. Um, you know, as, as long as I can remember back, you know, three, four, five years old, um, and dreaming of that opportunity. And the Packers uh, were the one that uh, were the team that that gave me that opportunity, um, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, and uh, honestly, now that I have children, uh, you gave me the opportunity to show my kids that hard work, dedication can bring those dreams to, uh, to reality. Um, and I'll be able to show them that proof, um, you know, one day when they grow up. Um, and, you know, there's a long list of, of people that I would like to thank. Um, that have helped me along the way, starting with my coaches. I've had many. Um, you know, one that, that comes to mind that was always in my corner uh, was James Campman. Uh, he was a goofball, but he, he always uh, – he had the biggest heart and uh, was one of the greatest men that I knew um, in the NFL. He taught me a lot as a really young player um, and helped me really – really uh, get into my stride as a young player. Um, there's a lot of other coaches that I could sit here and name. 
Um, but, you know, it would probably take too long. Um, also, the organization as a whole, um, it's, you know, the most storied organization uh, in the NFL. And just to be a part of that, um, to have my name as a part of this organization uh, is an incredible honor. Um, most organizations aren't all about winning championships, and Green Bay is all about winning championships, and that was extremely important to me in my career, and it was an honor to be able to win a championship here. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Ted Thompson um, yeah, for taking a chance on me, a uh, fourth-round kid, a, a guy that was not very highly touted, um, probably didn't have the, the greatest you know, high school career and college career and things like that, but he took a chance on me. Um, and I'd like to, to think that it paid off for him pretty good. Um, had a decent run here, and uh, it paid off for me as well. And uh, Goody, you know, he spoke to it already. Um, it's pretty cool. He was, uh, you know, the Southeast scout at the time, and I didn't really know. I didn't really know Green Bay was scouting me that much. Uh, he was pretty secretive about it, I think, uh, which made him a hell of a scout, and it's why he's. Uh, where he's at right now because of things he's uh, been able to do. Um, so thank you very much for everything that you've done for me. Um, and another one that uh, you might not think, John Dorsey. He's, uh, he was also a scout at the time. And I remember he called me and he said, look, I didn't know John at the time. We, I didn't know him from anybody. He's just a random phone call. And he said, you're not going to the senior bowl and you're not making the combine. And like, I'm sitting there holding out, waiting to go to the senior bowl in the combine, you know. And he said, your fat ass needs to go to the Hawaii Bowl and go out there so that all the scouts can see you. And he literally said that. I'm like, this guy's a <laughs> but I guess he's, I guess he's right. Um, so, of course, I didn't get invited to the senior bowl in the combine. I go out to the Hawaii Bowl, and I think that was part of the reason that uh, I ended up here. Um, so, John, I appreciate everything you did. Um, Mark Murphy, um, I got a chance to know him on the um, know him more on the tailgate tour we did um, after the Super Bowl. Um, it was during the lockout, so we were kind of battling each other on some issues a little bit. But I really got to know him, and he's uh, a great man, a great representation of um, you know who the Green Bay Packer organization is. Um, and I know Mark always had my back, and I really appreciate everything he's done for me and this organization. Coach Mike McCarthy, obviously. Um, was part of the the team that took a chance on me um, and the success we've had uh, as a team while I was here. Uh, you heard the stats from Goody, and uh, we had a great run here, and Mike was uh, obviously a huge part of that. Um, I've had a lot of great teammates along the way that I would like to thank. Obviously, I can't list them all, um, but I would say the, the guys that stick out the most are, you know, the offensive linemen that I was – you know, in the trenches with every day and that um, that I got to know the most. Uh, I think back to my young career. Uh, I think about Mark Tauscher and, and the words that he told me. Uh, he kind of simplified the game for me and told me not to take it too serious. And it's just football. And I remember um, it was 2009 and Renegade came on in the uh, Steelers game in 09. And he's just laughing and dancing. And I was like, all right, this is – it's not that serious. It's football. Like we can just play football and have fun. And uh, I learned a lot from Mark and Chad Clifton and Scott Wells. A lot of those older guys that were here when I got here. Um, and some more guys that really stick out to me are uh, I. I think one of the best offensive lines that I had uh, that are in Green Bay Packer history, the 2014 line: uh, David Bakhtiari, um, Corey Lindsley, T.J. Lang, Brian Balaga. Um, we had a good core there for a few years, and I think we had a hell of a run and um, had a lot of great memories with those guys. Um, and my guy Aaron Rodgers, thank you for always making us look better than we uh, than we really are. Um, you know, we won a lot of games, and a lot of those uh, a lot of those memories are um, due to you and and your abilities. And it's uh, life's about memories. And we made a lot of a lot of good memories together, um, and obviously the best was winning that Super Bowl together. And I hope y'all can go do it again this year because uh, y'all are my bet. Um, <laughs> and there's a lot of other people: the training staff, Nate and Flea, Kurt, uh, equipment staff, Tim Odie, Nels. There's so many people in the organization that no one ever sees, no one ever talks about. Um, 
you know, Elmer. Elmer's one of my, my favorite people in the world. He, every time I came in on Sundays, he would dap me up walking in the stadium. And, you know, that was part of my routine, and I, it meant a lot to me. Uh, and Elmer meant a lot to me and my family. Um, and then also, uh, of course, my family, my friends, all the people that were there before I was a Packer uh, that always supported me. Uh, my mother, you know, she took me to every game that I ever had. She took me to every practice. Uh, and she taught me, don't ever start anything that you can't finish. Um, and that's the lesson I took with her through my football career and through life. Uh, my stepdad, Al, who did not have to put up with me and my family, but he did. And he was right there with my mom driving to every game. And uh, we couldn't have done what we, um, what I've done and accomplished, you know, without someone like him in my life. Also, my older brother um, always kicked his butt growing up in sports, but he always gave me some uh, good competition growing up. Um, also, my sister, Rebecca, she could care less about sports, care less about football. Uh, if I need someone just to talk to about life, she's the person that I call. And, and uh, knowing that she just doesn't care about football, that means the world to me. She just cares about me. Um, and then lastly, um, Almost made it. Uh, my wife, Kristen, we moved here when we were. Twenty one and nineteen years old. Um, we grew up here in Green Bay together, uh, started our lives here in Green Bay, and I couldn't have been the player that I was. I couldn't be the man that I am without my wife. Um, so I appreciate everything. I love you. Thank you. Questions? No questions? All right, cool. Kind of tough to follow that up. Um, why was this important to you, Josh, that you did this? I mean, you'd already formally announced your retirement on a wildly popular radio show. I'm curious why you decided to do this. <laughs> Made popular by Mark Tauscher. No mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, I think I said it. I mean, I spent eight years of my life here. I, I, I was a kid when I moved here. I grew up here. My wife and I grew, grew together here in Green Bay. I won a championship here. I met some of the best friends of my life. Um, I actually had a pregame speech in 2015 before the Denver game, and I said, life's about making memories, something like that. Uh, we ended up getting beat pretty bad, so I didn't speak before <laughs> games after that. But um, you know, a lot of the a lot of the best memories of my adult life are uh, in Green Bay, and you know, right out here at Lambeau Field. And um, you know, I couldn't think of a better place to come back and officially retire. Gosh, but after the way they dumped you, I guess I never, never thought. Everybody gets dumped in this league. It's uh, it's just part of it. Josh, when you talk about memories, I think that's also the challenge for guys after their careers is they miss the camaraderie. These three guys are in the locker room together still all the time. Is that has that been one of the challenging transitions as much as you love Kristen and your family? Do you miss that part of it? Yeah, I mean, I miss it. I don't think it's been challenging, not, not yet anyway. I think I'm still um, pretty fresh out of it. Um, I honestly, I'm, I'm enjoying being a fan of football. I've always been a fan of football first before I was ever a player. So uh, it's nice on Thursday nights and, and all day Sunday and Monday nights. And my wife will uh, tell you that she, she complains about it all the time. I watch football. I watch every single game. While I'm watching, I do not miss playing. I don't miss it. I, I Honestly, when I miss it is when I get a Snapchat from David of Brian doing something stupid after practice or um, Snapchats from my buddies from Chicago or what I, you know, videos from the locker room. Those are the things that you miss. Um, but uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying being retired. Are you staying for the game, son? Yeah. What do you think it's going to be like just being in that stadium and not as a player? Um, I, I think it's going to be fun. Like I said, I mean, I'm a, I'm a football fan first and I enjoy watching football, so. Um, I'm sure it'll be an emotional uh, moment for me to be back, but I mean, I've I've come back here and played um, three times since since I left. So, um, you know, kind of gone through that initial feeling of coming back. Uh, been through that, so uh, it's going to be fun. Just sit back and watch and um, and be rooting for the Packers.
you guys are all super competitive, which is why you, you get to where you get to. So what's, what's filled that point for you? Um, well, I think I'm, I try to be the best father I can be right now, the best father and husband. And um, I don't think I'd get any argument. I'm probably dad of the year um, in most circles. But um, I've, got, I've got a construction company, a real estate company, a development company that, that, I'm, all a, that I'm a part of. And um, I get to, you know, get to go have wins like that. I actually had a really big win yesterday on a development. And... It, it was a really great day, and you know, no matter what you're doing in life, you're trying. You know, for me anyway, and that's like you said, we're very competitive. You're trying to be the best and, and trying to win. Um, so it doesn't matter if I'm uh, playing fantasy football or um, real football or doing whatever I'm doing with my business. I, I'm trying to win and um, always trying to be competitive. Do those jobs require you to be this clean cut, or is this sort of? A Honestly, it's just hot as hell in Florida, and I, I I cut my hair last year. After I got hurt, I decided that the, my football life was probably going to be over, and I feel like the hair was kind of my – that was my that was my football look. This is more my GQ, like, model, acting look, you know. Josh, you talked about being a fourth-round pick and – not highly touted. At what point in time did you realize you could be as good as you actually became in the NFL? Um, actually, not until so throughout um, mini camps and the off-season program. I'm like, holy crap! I am not gonna make it in the league like at all. Like I wasn't used to it, and it was just I was going against the rookies right away. I'm like, I'm not doing really good here. Like this sucks. Um, and then we got in pads the first day of training camp or whatever, and I think I beat like Cullen Jenkins or something, you know, somebody, one of the good starting D linemen uh, in one-on-ones, and I did it again um, and again and again and again and again and again that practice and a few times in a row. I was like, holy crap, I, can, I think I can actually do this. And I, I, that was the moment that I, you know, said, okay, I think I'm going to be around for a while. Josh, from the outside looking in, what do you think makes this team, this Packers team, good? Uh, well, I think Aaron talks about it a lot. You, you've, you, he talked about the 2010 um, team the other day. It wasn't the most talented team that I've been on. And I think we, we can all say that that 2014 team was probably the most talented team we ever had. But uh, there's something special about that 2010 team, um, and I think that um, I think they've got that this year. They've got you know, whatever that it factor is. Uh, I think they've got it, and I think it's it's probably one of the most complete teams. Um, that have been uh, in Green Bay in a long time. Um, you know, really great running game, really great offensive line. I think it's probably the best offensive line that's been here since that 2014-ish year. Um, and uh, a really good defense now. So um, they're definitely built to make a long run into the, into the playoffs. So we always think of you and TJ as a, kind of a duo in what, what what did your friendship with him mean to you? And, and were you guys, and I know you were pretty instrumental in getting him to kind of turn things around early in his career as well. Yeah, so we had uh, Tony Fisher, he, he sent us out some dates for this weekend to do the, uh, we've got a little event tomorrow and alumni thing um, on, uh, on Sunday. And he was like texting me the dates and the guys that it's gonna be with. I was like, look, we're not doing it unless TJ and I are doing it together, so. Uh, you know, our friendship is, is deep, and, uh, you know, we grew together. Um, you know, we grew up together uh, here in Green Bay and grew as men and grew as, as football players, and our relationship uh, means a lot. I love TJ and his family, um, and it's, uh, it's, uh, he's a very important person to me, and, and as many of these guys are. Can Goody tell us about that third snap that he knew everything was this was the right guy? I'm what sure. you were aware of? I think I was standing next to uh, Ted Thompson and Lonzo Heisman. And uh, I think it might have been, I don't remember the defense line yet, but he came with everything he had. He stoned him. He tried to shake him off. Josh had to miss off. It was over. That would have been All right, we're good there. We want something nice. So we had the same moment at the same time. Yeah. Was it Colin Jenkins that you were saying? Uh, 
let's just call it Cullen Jenkins. <laughs> he was really good, right? I mean, let's let's just call it Cullen. 